Good afternoon, friends, fans, and prospective attendees for the Celebrate Clayton Festival, which is a, an annual arts festival that occurs in Clayton, Georgia. It's sponsored by the North Georgia Arts Guild, and this year it'll be April 24th and 25th in downtown Clayton. Uh, there's a feature presentation on our YouTube channel and uh, also on the Park Bench channel. I'm Roger Glenn with POS Realty, and we're doing a series of these previews of some of the artists and artisans that will be exhibiting at this year's festival so that you can get a sense for their particular craft and hopefully make plans to visit them during the festival. Today we've got Mr. Waylon Robinson, who uh, does, this is a tough one to pronounce, of a Japanese Gyotaku fish prints. So Waylon, I am going to let you tell us all about your prints and a little bit about Celebrate Clayton. Sure, thank you, Anthony, I appreciate it. Um, my type of art is called Giyotaku. It's a Japanese art. It was created uh, over 200 years ago. It was a uh, means for uh, the fishermen how they could record their catches since there was no taxidermy then. So they simply took uh, ink and paper, mostly rice paper, and they uh, transferred an image of their catches onto the, the paper. Uh, I've been doing this art for about eight years now. I started when I lived on the Gulf Coast of Texas down in Galveston County, a little community called Crystal Beach. And uh, now I have moved up to Hartwell and uh, catching a lot of freshwater fish up here and, and, and trout and starting to, to do um, images and, and art of those uh, species of fish. One of the things I like about the uh, Celebrate Clayton Festival is the uh, scenery. Clayton's a beautiful area up in the mountains of Northeast Georgia. The uh, festival is well uh, run. Uh, the booths are set up perfectly where access to all of the, the uh, vendors are easily uh, uh, easy to get to. Uh, there's food, there's music, there's all kinds of arts and crafts and art. And uh, it makes for a really, really great weekend if you come out and, and visit the uh, festival. Uh, one thing I have, I have a few pieces of my art I'd like to um, share with you. Uh, I'll start with some of my saltwater uh, uh, images or art, and, and the, let's see if I can back up a little bit, let's see if I can get these in here. I'll start with a flounder. Hope you can see this flounder. I'm gonna cover my face here and explain this. Is that image okay? It it just popped up. This is it, a gal. It was freezing a little bit, but that looks great. Okay, this is a Galveston County, what they call a, a saddle blanket. Uh, these are called, the larger ones are caught in the fall. This uh, original art here was done on paper called Lacta. Uh, Lacta paper comes out of the Himalayas at an altitude of over 3,000 feet. It's a replenishable um, resource the tree can be cut to the ground and within three to four years it will grow back and that's one reason why I use the lock to paper because it really doesn't put a uh, 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 tax the environment you know because the tree will come back um, I'm gonna show some smaller prints so it won't cover up so much this is a, a blue crab I have several uh, prints of these uh, these are real popular I sell a lot of the blue crab prints. One of the other, this is a print I made for a festival in Louisiana, the Louisiana Crawfish and Gator Festival. Um, I call this print the, the Fadado, which is, means it's a dance. Uh, some people think that the crawfish are fighting, they're actually doing a jitterbug, or in their case, I call it the mud bug. It's got, let's say, some bluegill. These are some of my freshwater uh, art. These are bluegill actually 
came out of my pond in my backyard. Uh, this is not life size. This is probably about one third size. I got some more salt water I want to show, but I'll show some of these. Ah, this is Lake Hartwell Striper. This sold real well at a festival back in January. All, I sold all of the prints to this piece of art. Chattahoochee River uh, Rainbow Trout. And like I said, all of these originals were done on Lockta paper. I have experimented with other paper, but I just find that Lockta is better. And I don't know if we can get an image of it, but this is, this is the paper I use. And it's, it's real fibrous. It has a lot of tree fiber in it. It's real sturdy. It doesn't have a lot of leakage to it. Lake Hartwell spotted bass. I just live a mile from the lake, so I do a lot of fishing there. This is one that's real popular print. This is my Lake Hartwell spotted bass and the, the perch over here are called uh, pumpkin seeds. And they were all caught right there what the, this artist the used with real fish a lot of people don't know this but the fish is actually once a live uh, fish ah i like this one you can even do shrimp i've done a gator head before i don't have any of the prints of it but this is the shrimp what's under it two shrimp This is more of a life size. This is going to be a hard one to see. This is a life size print here. But this one, this is a redfish. And this is in the original Giataku style. This is the Japanese style. The ones with the color are more of the, uh, what's they call the Western style or US style art. And the reason I, I use color in, in them now is I attended a lot of CCA banquets in Texas and, um, the fishermen always wanted, they wanted color. They didn't really like the, the black and white. They wanted the color art. So I started using watercolor pencils because the acrylic paint seemed to sort of cover up the, the original image that I get. And so I started using the watercolor pencils because then I can still see the black and white image underneath the watercolor pencils. Plus the color blends much better. Very but that's good. about it. That's one thing, like I said, I hope everyone comes out and enjoys it. Yeah, thank you, Waylon. We're, uh, we're going to um, lose our, our channel here, our Zoom call in a minute. But um, for folks that want to take a sneak peek, just in case the video didn't come through, what's the best place for them to go to see some of your, your prints? I've got, two, I've got two Facebook pages. The one I'm... Um, I active with now is called Lake Hartwell Art and Woodworks. And uh, my original page was called Giataku Fish Prints, and that's G Y O T A K O. And uh, it's called Giataku Fish Prints dash Texas Gulf Coast Art. Okay, well, Waylon, thank you very much. I look forward to meeting you uh, in person in a couple of weeks. And, and folks, speaking of fishing, Raven County is a great place to go, uh, especially trout fishing. Um, and so you can do that on the, the, uh, the uh, margins of the festival, which again, 24 and 25 April. So thank you again, Waylon. And uh, we'll see you again soon, Raven County. One thing, I limited out on Trout Monday in, in uh, uh, Sarah Creek. <laughs>